So firstly, I want to ask you about this because, I mean, is this another scandal after rows over Partygate, bullying allegations and more recently misogyny? Are there any standards left in politics at all? Well, I mean, um, you know, all human life is here, as you say, about the uh, about parliaments. And the same you'll find in any coterie of large numbers of people. You'll find people who behave in ways which are disreputable. I'm afraid that's the case of, with human nature. Mm. But look, I mean, was he right to resign, you're asking? I'm not sure he was, and this is a contrary view, no doubt, uh, probably a minority view. But look, he's behaved in a scuzzy way. Yeah. Uh, he's been watching pornography, which isn't illegal, by the way. No, uh, presumably it's not illegal what he was watching. We don't know, but we presume it wasn't. He had female MPs around him, so that's a bit distasteful that he was behaving in that way with female MPs nearby. And what was he doing with a phone on in the chamber? Anyway, he's been doing his job properly, listening to the debate or taking part. I mean, that's the issues for me. So, uh, you know, I'm not defending his behaviour in any shape or form. But, you know, to resign seems a bit a step too far. You know, you resign when you've been guilty of some really serious offence. Mm. You know, what offence has he committed here? He's offended some Labour, some uh, Tory MPs sitting next to him. That's not very pleasant. He's been distracted from doing his job properly. That's clearly a, a fault. And he's been behaving in behaviour that some people would regard as unacceptable. But that's not illegal. So I just don't think resigning was the appropriate matter. And I think the judgment should come for people like Neil Parrish with his electorate when the election comes around, first of all, his constituency association has to reaffirm him as a, content, a candidate. Mm. So he has to pass that test with his party. And then if he passes that test, the electorate and Chibbert and Honiton will have a view on him. That's the way it should go. And I think we can't have people resigning for, you know, every, every single thing under the sun. You know, you may remember that I was the MP who exposed the MP's expenses scandal mm, yeah. uh, back in 2009, mm. 2010. And, you know, a lot of stuff that happened then was far worse than this. It was, it was corruption. Mm. It was abusing public money. And some of those people stayed in office.